If you've ever wondered what do data engineers actually do, you're not alone. From managing massive data sets to building reliable data systems, data engineers handle a lot of essential tasks that keep companies running smoothly. I reviewed 100 job descriptions from Fortune 500 companies to break down the most in-demand skills and tools they use every day. So if you're curious about what a data engineer's role actually involves, stick around. Why should you trust this video? I've been working as a data engineer for four years and I personally went through job listings of 100 Fortune 500 companies documenting each skill and tool mentioned. After analyzing this data, I'm here with the most in-demand skills that the actual industry needs. Before we dive deeper into the specific skills, let's take a high-level look at the most in-demand skills across job descriptions. Topping the skill is programming languages, which appears 196 times. This includes essential skills like SQL and Python. When it comes to ETL and data pipelines, it closely follows and is mentioned 136 times. Our company rely on these to streamline data and prepare data for analysis. Cloud platforms like AWS, Azure are also a high priority that show up 85 times. As more companies move to scalable and cloud-based solutions, it's very important that they use these technologies. Data modeling and warehousing appears 83 times. Other key areas include big data tools, DevOps and CI CD, and data quality and governance. Before we dive in, if you're passionate about data engineering, do consider hitting the subscribe button. Here on Analytics Vector, I post new videos two to three times a week. Programming languages are the foundation of data engineering. SQL is the undisputed leader, appearing 85 times in job listings. SQL allows data engineers to query, organize, and manipulate huge data sets. Python is also a major player known for its flexibility and wide library support, making it perfect for automating data workflows, handling APIs, and even integrating various frameworks. Other languages like Scala and Java also show up. Specifically, they use a lot in big data environments. Scala, for instance, is popular with companies that need real-time data processing, often paired with tools like Apache Spark. ETL, that is Extract, Transform, Load, is the backbone of data engineer roles. Over 65 listings demand ETL skills, which involves moving data from sources, cleaning it up, and getting it ready for analysis. Pipelines are automated systems that keep data flowing across different stages. For instance, if an e-commerce company wants to analyze customer purchasing trends, data engineers build pipelines that move data from sales platform, clean it, and load it into the data warehouse. These pipelines often build with tools like Apache, Airflow, or Talent allowing engineers to schedule and monitor data movement with precision. Cloud platforms are essential as more companies go serverless and scalable. AWS is a clear favorite here, showing up nearly 45 times in the various roles mentioned. AWS's offerings just S3 and Redshift make it ideal for storing and processing large data sets. Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform follow closely, each providing similar tools for storage and computing. A data engineer might use AWS to so let's say store data in Amazon S3, then process it in Redshift for business intelligence purposes. Cloud platforms also offer flexibility and scalability, which is why they are crucial when you're handling terabytes of data. Data modeling and warehousing help structure data in ways to make it accessible and actionable for insights. Data modeling is mentioned 40 times in listing, and it allows data engineers to design various data architectures based on various design patterns that support efficient storage and retrieval. For example, an engineer might use Snowflake or Redshift to set up a data warehouse that holds historical data like customer interactions, making it easier for analysts to pull up insights on customer behavior over time. Warehousing tools also support complex queries, enabling deeper insights and faster decision making. Big data tools like Apache Spark and Hadoop help data engineers handle enormous volumes of data. Spark leads the pack mentioned 40 times in job postings. These tools allow data to be processed parallelly across clusters, which is a key when companies need to handle millions of data rows or process live streaming data. Take a streaming app, for instance. To recommend songs in real time, engineers use Spark to process listening data instantly, updating recommendations dynamically based on the user behavior. These tools make big data processing not only manageable, but also scalable and fast. Beyond moving and structuring data, data engineers are also responsible for building scalable and reliable workflows. This is where DevOps skills come into play. 
version control tools like JIT, along with CI-CD tools like Jenkins and Terraforms, ensure that data pipelines are consistent and catch errors early. Imagine a team pushing frequent updates through a pipeline. CI-CD automates testing and deployment, ensuring changes are smoothly integrated without downtime. Security and governance are critical but often overlooked parts of data engineering. With data quality checks, engineers verify the incoming data meets the set standards, which is crucial for accurate analytics. Governance ensures that data complies with regulations, which is increasingly important as privacy laws evolve. For instance, data engineers might use validation checks to prevent corrupted data from entering a production database. Governance practices, meanwhile, make sure sensitive data is protected and handled responsibly. Are you finding this helpful? Don't forget to check out my other video, Three Reasons Why Data Engineering is the Number One Career in 2025. It'll give you a better understanding of why these skills are only going to grow in demand. Here's a quick dive into the other skills needed. These are essentially not skills that a data engineer is meant to do, but a lot of job descriptions list them, so I'm presenting them to you. Visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI. Data engineers turn raw data into actionable insights for business teams. These are the final steps in helping non-technical teams make data-driven decisions. Data engineers also closely work with data scientists, analysts, and business stakeholders, and tools like Jira help ensure teamwork. APIs allow different applications to interact with data seamlessly. For example, a data engineer might create an API that enables the sales team to pull real-time metrics. Data engineers also often work with machine learning teams by preparing and structuring data for model training. Skills in machine learning help you understand the data that you're presenting to the machine learning engineer. So that's it for today's video. If you want to dig deeper into the details, you can check out the Excel sheet in the description with 100 job listings and the skill summaries. You can also follow me on LinkedIn to stay updated with the latest in data engineering. Thank you for watching Analytics Vector. Until next time, bye.